to you know just zone out with those peanut pop guns. I like that run through on the reflector, uh, yeah. trying to get the banana, but he was getting shielded. So it's still pretty even. Mm -hmm. The green's got stage control though. Rabbit trying to reflect that banana read throw, mm -hmm. but now she's gonna get tripped. Double down tilt, and we're at this ledge here. This gets maybe a little dangerous for Palutena right in the uh, right in the corner. Yep. And Dragoon just doing such a good job keeping him locked in that corner, maintaining all of that stage control. Yeah. Down till. I'm and not sure if Rabbit's gotten any percent in mm -hmm. the past like minute or so. Ooh, nice dare. And the air dodge into the ground, but too laggy with that up smash. Yeah. Uh, and one thing that I just noticed is he went down tilt. I think he could have went fair afterwards. He tried to run in for a grab. Maybe just a little bit of a miscue on the hitbox and the percents. All right. Down tilt into the up smash. And that'll do it. What mm -hmm. a great combo from Diddy all the time. Yeah, that's a, he is such a great way to steal, seal out stocks. He's nice not little. like the top tier that's going to jank you off the hardest. Yeah. But he is somebody who you're never, you never really get to live for a super long time. Yeah. You would think that Diddy doesn't have mm -hmm. a lot of kill options, but then, I mean, there's all these like true setups that he can do. I say he has, he has a lot of, well, they're, they're mix ups off of the down tilt. It's yeah. all about what you end up doing. Yeah. And trying to zone out with these back airs. Uh, I like that from Rabbit. That yeah. uh, the shield moves are invincible. Like the the hitbox itself is invincible. It's just the shield. So that dash attack and the bear, very good tools to throw out pretty sparingly. Yeah, and he's been doing a good job since he mm -hmm. got or he lost his stock. He hasn't taken any percent yet, but he's still fishing for that first. He's KO. Just, he's fishing for bear, and it looks like it's got uh, dragoon stymied just a little bit. I'm trying to go for the down air. They're yeah. trying to end that man's career. Missing that bear because all that rage. Yeah, but Rabbit's done a good job staying patient, mm -hmm. not trying to do too much, especially against a character like Diddy. Mm -hmm. That was a little too greedy. He thought yeah. the Dragoon maybe was going to run a little too far forward and maybe do the slide. All right, and we're going to get yet more percent for yeah, Dragoon. It looks like as soon as I've been saying that, now he's starting to get a little bit of anxiety. He hasn't been yeah. stuck. The match is half over. Mm -hmm. And we saw Dragoon get that uh, stage control again. Mm -hmm. And that's been pretty big for him. But that dash attack, going to do it. Yep. Still definitely doable for Rabbit, mm -hmm. only 66%. And the forward throw from Rabbit, or excuse me, Dragoon, he's just keep, he's doing a good job keeping Rabbit in the corner. Yeah, every time that Rabbit has to get back on stage, he just ends up waiting mm -hmm. over there until he has an option, but Dragoon still keeps trying to lock him over on the ledge there. I'm surprised Dragoon doesn't start taking advantage of the angel drop. Uh, which is where you Z drop a banana right by the ledge. It looked like he was gonna set up for it, mm -hmm. but uh, he just he just empty hopped instead. Oh, that was a definite miscue. And oh. now Diddy in a perilous position. Oh, but oh Paul wow, they both make it back. Man, that was that was a tough spot. Nice. That's a great pickup, and that's great matchup knowledge, mm -hmm. uh, or just character knowledge, I guess. And trying to go for the hoo ha, not quite working. But is that gonna do it? Yep. Yes, it will. So game one to Dragoon. Mm -hmm. We'll see where Rabbit takes it for game right. number two. I think he needs to figure out way more creative ways out of the corner. Yeah. Because that's where we saw Dragoon get so much mileage, just tossing him off stage, putting moves on, and then just rinsing and repeating, putting mm -hmm. him back off stage. Yeah. And that's like the way that Dragoon plays. He's mm -hmm. a very patient player, and he always wants to be the one in it's, advantage with stage control. Obviously, right. anyone does, but like I think he thrives off of it. Mm -hmm. It's a super frustrating play style for other people to deal with. Absolutely. Because you're just like, man, I'm off stage. I have limited options. I have to come back. Especially against a character like Didi, mm -hmm. who is just, I mean, what are you going to do? You got Banana, you got Peanut, you got mm -hmm. all of his aerials, which are, mm -hmm. you know, Pretty good. Looks like Rabbit is maybe contemplating a character switch. Uh, Pac-Man. Pac wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen this Pac-Man before. I'm not sure, actually. Like, <clears throat> I know I've seen a lot of different characters from Rabbit, but because he's played so many of them, it makes it a little tough to remember all of them. He does have that uh, Galaxian online. Yeah. Interesting that he went straight to the platform there, but I feel like Pac-Man has a lot better options to get back into mm -hmm. neutral than Palutena does, so maybe that's why he's trying to go for that. And he's doing he's doing a good job walling out and putting on a lot of hydrant pressure. I just assume because this is a oh the forward smash giving him a weird angle, and not quite able to re grab that uh, Galaxy in there. But a good hydrant mm -hmm. to get out of disadvantage. I'm liking these jabs, and he's getting a lot of grabs. Ooh, ooh. going for that roll read, not mm -hmm. quite getting it. 
So one thing that's just kind of rabbit style is he likes to go for a lot of grabs, even though he's using a character with the worst grab the worst in grab. the game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and one more, yeah, that'll send the Hydra flying. And the good at smash. smash. But this is much closer than the last game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At but least so far. Now we've got Dragoon in full control here. But yeah, that, maybe that peanut edge guard is more uh, lethal than you might think. It's doing quite well. It's not something you see all the time. Throwing the orange, but yep. then just kind of getting boxed out here. And you will be just kind of, you know, out frame data by Diddy, out like move yeah. privileged. And that dash check, a great angle send on that hydrant. Yeah, Dragoon's still noticing he has to be a little bit more careful mm -hmm. if he's going for the hoo-ha, because that hydrant is always there to threaten you. Mm -hmm. And that dash attack has such little end lag. Yeah. That's such a great cross-up tool. Oh, oh good stage spike. Mm, very nice. So Rabbit now with the first stock. Let's see what Dragoon can do when he's not in. Right. I think that was a shield break setup. That was really close, yeah. I'm surprised he didn't get the grab connect there. It's probably, you know, a Pac-Man thing where he wasn't able to get the grab. I uh, wasn't able to quite lock him in shield stun. Trying to call it a monkey flip high, but I have not seen Dragoon monkey flip high even once. Uh, he doesn't monkey flip much in general. No, he just uses a recovery option and uses oh. kind of that box linear angle with a... And that hydrant mm -hmm. turning its back on Pac-Man. That's something that you always, you're always at the risk of when you drop the hydrant. As a Duck Hunt main, I know the feeling with that can always being uh, right? possibly turned against me. Great devil bear <laughs> there from Dragoon putting out nice damage. Pac-Man tripping him up with the banana. Going dash tech into dash tech the opposite way. I like it. That looks so slick. But if that couldn't quite had been a little it, yeah. faster, that would have been clean. Yeah. I want to see more of these higher level fruits from Rabbit. Mm -hmm. You want to see a little you bit know, more charge? A little more key, a little more bell. One thing that we'll see Nebula do that we haven't seen Rabbit do is he'll stall off stage for a long a time. A long time charging and those charge bonus up fruits. fruits. Yeah. So he'll almost always have like the Galaxian or the Bell online or the Key, one of those higher level ones. Yeah, and he even likes Apple a lot. I think especially because it's sort of a cross up with at, the angle at which it Yeah, throws. high percents, he will use the Apple in the 45 degree angle that it sends yeah. out to claim a lot of surprise kills. Yeah. And so I feel like that's gonna be something that mm -hmm. Rabbit has to do to try to seal this game too. But he's still opting for those those low level bonus fruits. Yeah. Opting for the quick charge and putting on neutral pressure. Trying to go for a little bit of a mix up there mm -hmm. with the uh, pellet. I don't know what move is called. <laughs> I don't happen to know off the top of my head. And trying to get this age spike, uh, not quite working there. Oh, the but fair still just pretty breaking even. up the smash. And now we got Pac-Man on the ledge. Mm -hmm. Let's see how he gets out of this corner. It looks oh, like going, going for that hydrant. Oh, oh getting greedy! Oh, Everybody oh. getting greedy! And Dragoon's gonna finish oh. off. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> yes, 